Redshift XT Special Ops are advertised as precision vision glasses. That's today's review, so let's get right to it. I'm here in Huntington Beach, California, and I brought the Redshift XT glasses with me. And as you'll see in a minute, I brought them all the way on my drive here, and here's how they looked. Well, here I am in glorious Baker, California, famous for the world's largest thermometer and alien fresh jerky. And I'm going to add to that list of illustrious achievements from Baker, California by unboxing the Redshift XT Special Ops for freak interviews right here. So let's check it out. I've got the Redshift XT unboxed. As you might recognize, I'm wearing the tech glasses. The tech glasses I just did a review of last week, and I figured I'd compare them to the Redshift XT Special Ops while I'm doing it. So let me switch from the tech glasses to the Redshift XT. Whoa. They're not kidding when they say everything is red. Wow. I think what I'm gonna do is get back on the road and go back and forth between these two and kind of compare them because this is a lot different. This is definitely, what, is it, what does it look like in the sun, huh? I gotta protect my, my head, but what do you think? How do these look? I'm gonna get back on the road and I'm gonna kind of do a comparison. All right, I just stopped for a little pit stop here at In-N-Out Burger in Hesperia, California. And whenever you take road trips in this part of the country, you gotta stop In-N-Out. Even though we have them in Vegas, there's still something comforting about In-N-Out Burger. Anyway, I drove from Baker, California to Hesperia, which is an over an hour drive wearing only the Redshift XT. And I will say that when I first put them on, it was like this overwhelming sense of red tint. It's like, boom. Now I'm not sure that the style is really something that I'm totally big on, just to be honest. But that said, when you take them off, it's almost like this intense blue-green, faded blue-green tint to everything. But I will say that the clarity is better with the Redshift XT Special Ops on. What I'd like to do is compare them to the TAC glasses now. So you know, the TAC glasses, everything is a little bit darker, while the Redshift XT, everything seems almost brighter. These aren't as dark as the TAC glasses, but they, everything is just tinted darker. One thing I was gonna point out also is I have kind of a large head, and these seem kind of large even to me. So that could be an issue for some people, but I'm gonna head down to Huntington Beach, keep testing them out, and I'll keep comparing Regular sunglasses with tack glasses with Redshift XT Special Ops. And welcome to California. Yep, this is gonna be a while. But at least I've got my Redshift XT to make this traffic look very clear. Yep, it's gonna be a while. All right, so here I am in Huntington Beach, California. It took me six hours to drive here because traffic was so bad, but I'm finally here. And I wore the Redshift XT almost all the way here. And here's some of my observations. Check this out. Number one, if you compare the Redshift XT with the TAC glasses, just look at the, you can see how much larger they are than the TAC glasses. I felt like they were kind of large on my head. These regular sunglasses of mine, they're actually kind of tight for me. These, the TAC glasses fit perfect. These were a little bit loose. But as you can see all that glare out there at the ocean, See, the world has kind of a red tint when you got the Redshift XT. But if you look at the difference though, I mean, I think that the red, the red tint does help, it does help the clarity quite a bit. Now let's compare that to the TAC glasses. Do you see the difference between the TAC glasses on the left, Redshift XT on the right? The Redshift XT, when I took them off, everything seemed gray and kind of like bluish green to me. I don't get that effect when I take the tech glasses off, but really I think that when I put them on, I think the Redshift XT was clearer. I'm gonna keep wearing them, but my initial reaction is that as much as I don't really like the way they look on my head, I felt like they actually enhanced colors a lot better than the tech glasses. I'll keep trying them out and I'll show you how they work as I go. Redshift XT Special Ops are advertised as precision vision glasses that turns haze and glare into clearly what's there. Some of the advertised features are it reduces eye strain, it's an ultra lightweight design, 
virtually indestructible. Unisex, super secure fit in any weather. Other features are that it blocks 100% of UVA, UVB, and harmful violet blue light up to 400 millimeter wavelength. Reduces eye strain, reduces glare, reduces haze. 180 degree viewing. If you've ever been to Huntington Beach, you know how iconic Duke statue is. And I'm, I had my red shift XT glasses on, but I switched to the regular glasses because they're not, they're not very stylish. They look like a cross between something Bono would wear and safety goggles. Not really something I'd walk around in public. I'd wear them to drive because they actually are clear, but walking around, nah, I don't think so. There's a couple other pairs of glasses I've seen advertising. One's called Sniper Vision. One I think is HD Vision Special Ops. If I can get those, I will review those as well. And I'll continue to compare these and TAC glasses to any other glasses that I get. As you can see, it does have a pink tint to it. It's very pink. What do you guys think? Is that too pink? So there you have it, there's the Redshift XT glasses. My final conclusion are that they actually do a really good job of increasing clarity more than the TAC glasses. But I don't like the way they look at all. I mean, would you walk around like this? I don't, I don't think so. I wouldn't. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave these in my car and I'm gonna use these as my car driving glasses because I actually, when I took them off, when I was driving out here, I put them back on because the clarity was better. So that's something I do like about them. Other than that, they, I, I, they look terrible to me. And they're actually kind of large. So I don't know how one size is gonna fit all. A small person, these are gonna be huge on them. As far as the claims that it reduces glare and increases clarity, absolutely true. Anything else? I'm not sure. Have you used Redshift XT or one of these other specialty glasses? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen On TV product reviews from me, James White with freaking reviews.